as of today, we have reports of around 900 Saiga deaths, of which Peste uh, Petit Rumina virus has been shown to, to have, uh, have been the cause. Uh, the animals probably at this time of year are debilitated. Uh, it's winter, there's less, uh, in, uh, the nutrition status maybe is a bit um, uh, in jeopardy. And we have the virus spillover from sheep and goats uh, into this endangered species. So those losses can actually uh, continue in through the springtime. So the possibility of losing up to thousands of animals is there. How is the disease uh, uh, spread? You can imagine that now in Mongolia, the areas for uh, foraging are, are few. So you'll have the saigas coming into contact with the herders, the flocks, and so when they mix, you do have disease transmission. Not, not, it's not an influenza virus like the common cold with humans, but you have that intermixing. And it's not only about peste petit rumina. It could be other diseases, whether foot and mouth disease, uh, pox viruses, um, hemorrhagic septicemia. So there's a whole d uh, slew of diseases that actually can be transferred from one species to another. What would be ideal is that the vaccination campaign of sheep and goats be continued or extended and identify those areas where the saiga or other species are unprotected and vaccinate the sheep and goats there. So you don't have the spillover events from domestic animals to wildlife.